here you're seeing what's left of many of the radishes I've been picking. I planted them about 35 days ago, so most of them are getting near time. Your first ones you're seeing are the early scarlet glow. Then a little further back you're seeing the cherry bell. And then further back from there you're seeing the sparkler white tip and the French breakfast all the way in the back. You're now looking at the little marvel peas. They're starting to climb the trellis as they're supposed to. I would probably say within the next month I should hopefully have some peas. A little further down you'll see there are some green beans planted. They never really did much. I planted a ton of seeds and I only got maybe eight plants. And then a little further down from there, I'll see what I could do with the zoom, are the Alaska peas. They are pretty much, I'd say, a little bit ahead of the little marvels. You'll notice there's some flowers on them. Those should hopefully give me peas within, I would say, 15 to 20 days. The strawberries are coming along very nicely. I'm sure you could see the strawberry that's starting to grow against the black background of the plastic we have down. I'm going to slowly give you a further back. These front ones are seascape. There's a total of 25 of them. And the further back ones, all the way back down the row, those are Albion and there are a total of 50 of those. This is the blue kale. It's doing pretty well. It's the first time I've ever grown kale. So I think it's doing pretty well. The only issue I'm worried about is it possibly bolting in the next few days. If I see any signs of it, I'm just going to pick them all. But for now, I'm going to let them keep growing and see what we get. These potatoes I planted accidentally. I was initially going to put them here, then I was going to put them in plastic, and then they never seemed to take. So I started them in bags all the way in the background, but because these are doing so well and the ones in the bags are not, I'm going to keep them for now. Um, I'll give updates on them as I keep hilling them up and hoping we get a lot of potatoes out of them. This here is a bed of asparagus. I started this probably about a week ago. And so far, nothing yet. I'm hoping we get some asparagus to come up through here. We'll start over with the carrots on this side of this four post bed. I'm only using two of the four spots, if you want to call it that. Uh, I have carrot, little tiny carrots just breaking the soil. I don't know if you can see them in this video. They're very small. There's a lot of them. And it's going to be awesome when I pick some carrots from here. Over here I have my herb bed. I have oregano, basil, and some chives which are now going to flower, which is beautiful, and some sage. You're now looking at my grapevines I have. I have my smaller one over here. He's got a long way to go. That one I purchased about two year, a uh, year and a half ago. And this one here I purchased about three years ago. This is a Concord grape, and I'm starting to get a little bit of grapes starting to come through. I'm going to see if I could zoom in without them getting too fuzzy. These are the yellow onions I have. They're slowly getting bigger. They were planted probably about a little over a month ago, about a month and a couple days ago. Um, can't wait to have some of these. This is the rhubarb bed. This rhubarb you see in the back, my tallest and oldest one, is about a year and a half old. I think I'm just gonna let it grow, let it get all the energy it can to give me much better stocks next year. In the front, there are two smaller ones. Those two I purchased this year, and they're gonna be probably a year, maybe two, before I wanna harvest anything from them. Here is my red onion bed. These were planted at the same time as the yellow. They seem to be doing a little bit better, but I am noticing they seem a little water stressed. I'm gonna probably up my amount of water I'm giving them every couple days, just because they look like they really need it, especially with the heat coming this week. These are the tomatoes I have in the ground. The furthest ones back are the oldest. 
and I'm going to slowly pan over to show you the newer ones. They're not doing as hot as I would like to see them. The older ones did take a while to take, so I'm hoping this is just going to be the same thing with these younger ones. And then I have two spots here for Amish paste. I haven't gotten them completely hardened off yet, so I'm not even going to try to put them in the ground. They're just not going to be ready. These here are my raspberry bushes. I'm starting to see a couple flowers, not much yet though. I can't wait to get my, usually it's a June harvest of raspberries. For some reason, I think the way this weather's been, I think it's probably going to be a July harvest. The ones you're seeing in the foreground are actually yellow raspberries. They're Anne's. They're supposed to have a more of a sweet taste. And the ones further back are the red ones. These are heritage raspberries. This is definitely a sight to see. These are Patriot blueberries. This is my Patriot blueberry bush. I got this probably about three years ago. And for some reason, this bush gives you blueberries very early. There's a lot of them there.